This is the quick version. Three components, three connections. We have three components of our computer, our LCD projector, and our smart board. Okay? Three connections. We need to, number one, make sure we've plugged our LCD projector and our laptop into power so they can be uh, powered to do what they need to do. Second connection is going to be the computer into the LCD projector. And we're going to do that using the, there's our power, the LCD connector. This is called a VGA. You'll notice most of the time it's blue on the ends. So you plug it into, it should say either input or computer one or computer two or whatever. Plug it in from that end and it's going to go into the only place where it could go on the laptop. It's often on the left hand side, either on the back or back left. And it gets plugged in right there like that. Okay, uh, It's only one way you can't do it upside down. And we'll put that back down. Okay, so. Uh, the next thing I would do is turn on the LCD projector. Again, the power button up top. Uh, and that will take a moment or so to warm up. Once that's warmed up, I want to make sure that the image is on the touchable surface of the smart board as much as possible, not going too high off to the sides or too low. So I need to adjust the feet in order to make that work. And the projector will have to be parallel to the smart board, not off to the side, or our image is going to be skewed. So we're looking pretty good. I'm also going to use the lever on top, which is the T for tiny, W for wide. And I will shove that around until it looks the way I want it to look. Pick it up. There we go. You'll notice that what I'm seeing right now is blue. It's not actually what I'm seeing on my computer. If that happens, you need to do your function F3, F4, F5, F6, F7, F8. So we'll hold down the function key and then look along the F keys up at the top of the screen, looking for something that says LCD slash CRT or that has usually a line and a sort of a circle and a line. So we'll do function. In this case, it's F4. And in a moment, it should come up on my screen. Not yet. And there we go. Okay. Again, we want to make sure it's not over on the outside of the screen. That's our first connection. And our, our second connection was to power. The third connection is the smart board to the computer. Again, there should be a USB cord going bottom right, usually, of the smart board into any of the USB connections on the laptop. doesn't matter which one. And as I do that, you may notice that on the screen, the light on the side will be red. It will flash across white twice, and then this will turn green. It's a little slow the first time. Uh, consecutive times, it will go much faster than that, and we've achieved a green light not flashing, solid green, that means it's in good shape. Finally, the last thing, we need to orient it. Basically, teach the computer that when I touch here, I mean here. To do that, we touch our two buttons in front, and then using the pen, because the pen is a finer tip, we touch and release, touch and release, all the way until we're finished. If a student knocks the cart or the smart board, all you need to do is touch the two buttons and reorient and you're done. Thanks for watching.